Today we are going to be using AI to come up with a good title for the dark fantasy book that I am currently writing with AI. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we are returning today to the Omnimancer, which is the series name I've come up with for this book that I've been writing. If you've been watching my past videos, you will have seen some of the work I've done on this so far, basically where I started from scratch, came up with the idea, and then uh, moved on. Something I haven't done yet, though, for this book is come up with a title. So I thought I'd just show you a quick video about the process that I go through to brainstorm titles. We'll be using ChatGPT, but I'm also going to be using Claude, which I recommend go check out my last video to, to see um, more about Claude because it's shaping up to be a really good tool for writers. Uh, I just want to compare the two again to see which one works better. Uh, so uh, this is the original synopsis that we got for this dark fantasy. Uh, it's a, a necromancer romance, I guess is what you could call it. It's kind of a dark young adult fantasy. Uh, so we're going to go over here and paste this into GPT-4. Before we do that, I'm going to write a prompt. The prompt is going to go something like, um, consider the following synopsis and process type read or read when you have uh, to show you understand. And then I paste that in there. The reason I do this, and this is all I'm going to do at this point, it should give us, uh, it's given us a little bit more than, than just red. But, um, what we've done here is we've now loaded it with this information. So it un now understands the context behind this particular story. Uh, at least the basics. And it's still going. I didn't really want it to do this. Sometimes it'll just keep going. Ideally, I wanted to just say red. And the reason it does, reason I want it to do that is so it doesn't use up tokens because the more tokens it uses up, the less memory it has. It can't go as far back, but it's fine. Um, we'll, we'll let that slide at the moment. And uh, so now we're going to start brainstorming titles. Now, before AI, the best way to do titles is to look up your genre and then figure out some good titles for it. Now, I've gone over here and I've already gone to the page of the Amazon bestsellers in dark fantasy and horror and looked at some of the options that they have here. And what you want to do is look for the trends. Uh, the Serpent and the Wings of the Night, of Night, The Ashes and the Starker's King, uh, The Broken Elf King, Six Scorched Roses, Trials of the Sun Queen. And a lot of fantasy has this sort of blank of the blank, um, you know, like Lord of the Rings title structure. Uh, but another one that's become really popular lately uh, is this style. It's the blank of blank and blank. Uh, so this one here, the King of Battle and Blood. And I'm sure there's some others here. Curse of Shadows and Thorns. Um but then there's some others here that are not that way, so it doesn't have to be that particular style. Um, but normally what we would do is we'd come to this, see the different formats, and then try to come up with something that was in the same vein that was unique and specific to our books. So with ChatGPT, we're going to try a couple of different, different things. Uh, first, I'm going to say come up with 20 dark fantasy book titles. Oh, we just switched to dark mode there. Uh, it's late where I am right now. Come up with 20 dark fantasy book titles given the um, synopsis above. And that's all we need to get it. Chains of the Necromancer, Whispers of the Dead, The Lyra Chronicles. Eh, yeah, not the best. The Undying Whisper, A Tale of Evanreach, Evanreach Rebellion, Lyra's Gift, The Veil of Death, Forbidden Love. The Veil of... So none of these titles actually look that good to me, but even then, you look at it, it can start your creative juices flowing. So I saw like The Veil of Death, so 
Um, I thought maybe it's something like the veil of forbidden love and death. That might be a little bit too much. Um, the chains of Ebon Reach, the undead heart. Actually, the, un the undead heart isn't too bad. Um, so, so just looking through this list, I, pro I wouldn't take anything specific, but I'd probably go with something like the chains of death of no the heart of death and chains or something like that you know um it could give you ideas i don't really have something specific that i like here but what you can also do is give it a specific f format um give me 20 more in the this specific style colon a blank of blank and blank and then I'll give it a few examples so it has a good understanding of what I'm looking for like a song of ice and fire or a court of thorns and roses and let's just go back to this and grab one from here King of Battle and Blood. Let's just add that to the list. King of Battle and Blood. So now it has a few examples of the, the structure of the title that we want. And see what it gives us. A Veil of Death and Deception. A Symphony of Shadows and Whispers. Okay, so it's definitely getting the right structure down. And that's good. A Dance of Souls and Sorcery. A Requiem of Love and Rebellion. A Council of Fear and Control. A Chant of Chains and Freedom. Uh, that was actually not too bad. Um, I like a veil of death and deception. Um, but I would probably use a different word instead of deception. Um, or this one, a heart of darkness and light. Uh, we just took the heart there, a heart of death and deception or something like that. Um, again, I would probably not take any of these verbatim, but these should just give you enough to start brainstorming. Let's go ahead and repeat this process in Claude to see how it works. So I'm gonna copy this initial prompt and we're gonna to go to Claude again and see my last video on how you can get this set up um, in Slack. But we're gonna basically paste this here verbatim and see it did the right thing. It said just red and you know, ChatGPT does that 90% of the time. It just didn't in this particular case. Uh, so now it's processed that, and so it has that background. We can go back here, copy our next prompt, which is to come up with 20 dark fantasy book titles given the synopsis above. Go back here, and again, we're not giving it a specific format to, to copy. We'll just give it this and just see what it com comes up with, see if I like any of these. All right. Uh, I actually think these are a lot more appropriate to a dark fantasy than the ones we got out of ChatGPT. The Chains of Necromancy, Whispers of the Veil, The Gift of the Dead, Enslaved Souls, Forbidden Love. You know, a lot of them are very similar as well. The Fate of the Living and the Dead, The Suffering Undead, Death's Dominion. So definitely not perfect. Shadows of Ebon Reach is actually not too bad. Uh, like that could be a series title, I think. Because, uh, you know, the different fantasy worlds often are in series titles like that. The Council of Necromancers, the Chains of Necromancy. So the Chains of Necromancy isn't too bad. Uh, that's definitely appropriate for the story we're trying to tell. Uh, let's go back to and grab our last prompt to give me 20 more in a specific style. Like a Court of Thorns and Roses. Go back to Claude and type copy and paste and see what it gives us. 20 more dark fantasy titles in the style of a blank, a blank, and blank. A Veil of Life and Death. A Whisper of Magic and Shadows. Shadows, a gift of souls and sorcery. A Tale of Love and Loss. A Rise of Hope and Despair. A Rule of Fear and Fury. I think it's actually giving us a little bit more variety here than ChatGPT did. So this is, again, 
you know, if you watch my last video, I basically said Claude might actually be a better tool specifically for writers who are trying to do this. And I think I stand by that with the titles. Now, it's definitely not perfect. I don't think I would lift any of these verbatim, but it, it's got a lot closer to my original intent when asking for something. And so uh, I'm not going to choose a title right now because I want to give it some thought, but I really like something that's like a heart of uh, death and something. Uh, a heart of death and duty. Here's a good word. Death and no, that that isn't a good word. Never mind. A heart of death and salvation. A heart of death and shadow. Something like that. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. But now you understand my process on how to come up with a good title for a book. Uh, hopefully that is helpful to you, and I'll see you in the next video.